Welcome to Local Eats. Today we are here in historic Duxbury, Massachusetts at the Oyster Man Raw Bar and Tavern. This is a fairly new addition to the food scene in Duxbury, but already this gem is a local favorite. So come on in and let's meet one of the owners, Dermot. Donna, welcome to the Oysterman. Hey, Dermot, thanks for having us. Yeah. I've been looking forward to this. Great to have you here today. I have heard a lot about the Oysterman Bar and Tavern. Tell me a little bit about it. You guys are a historic spot in town. We are. This used to be the old train station in town. We took uh, some of the barn wood from a barn that was at the back of the building, and during construction, we found uh, a train track. Uh, so we reused that as the footrail at the bottom of the bar. You can see that there. So this is truly a spot of Duxbury within your bar and tavern. And in addition to having incredible seafood and oysters, which we'll talk about in a minute, you are known for your bar. Tell That's me about right. your bar. That's right, Donna. We have a great focus on local craft beers, and we have over 20 beers on draft here. If you'd like to try one, I can get you one now. What would you recommend? I recommend Boat for Sale. It's brewed locally in Plymouth uh, by Independent Fermentation. Excellent, and while you were grabbing a beer for me, I'm going to sample, I think I have fish tacos here, and I have a buffalo cauliflower. That's our famous buffalo cauliflower. Everybody seems to really enjoy it. One of our top sellers, along with the fish tacos. Excellent, thank you. Thank you, Dermot. This is fantastic. I love the little bit of a kick to it. And thank you for the beer, but we are at the Oyster Man. If you're at the Oyster Man, you gotta hit the raw bar. Let's do it. This is the raw bar at the Oyster Man. On weekends, it also serves as a Bloody Mary do-it-yourself bar. So tell me, Dermot, this entire restaurant is built around oysters and built around your love of oysters. Tell me about that. That's right, Donna. What we did here with the raw bar is we put it center of the restaurant. Uh, one of the things about moving to Duxbury is you can't help but fall in love with the oysters here. And we're so lucky uh, that we have these oysters being farmed here in town. Uh, some of the best oysters in the country. Well, we just don't sell Duxbury oysters. We also have different varietals that we bring in. Today, we have Cops Island. They're from Connecticut. So tell you what, I know that we're going to be heading to the dining room in just a minute to sample some of the rest of your menu. You have so much to offer in addition to your oysters and seafood. But I think I want my own lesson for how to shuck an oyster. So we're going to hang out here at the raw bar for a minute, and we'll meet you back in the dining room. The oysters were incredible, and I now feel very accomplished. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So in addition to some great craft beers, a fantastic raw bar, you also have a pretty well-received menu. Tell me a little bit about what's on the menu. And what we've done here at the menu is we feature some seafood, but we also have burgers and steaks, chicken. We want to have something for everyone. And we have a scratch kitchen, so we're cooking all our food fresh. You're right at the ocean, so we know your seafood is coming in right from the ocean. But everything here looks so fresh, and everything is made right in the restaurant. Now, you have a fairly extensive background in the restaurant industry. It's not an easy industry. What is it that brings you back every single day? And what is it that makes you want to be able to share your restaurant with others? Well, I wanted to work where I lived, and that was the most important thing for me. And that's why when we moved to Duxbury, I wanted to have a restaurant in Duxbury so that I could share just not just with the people of Duxbury, but with my family too. 
What do you want people to take away from their experience when they come to the Oyster Man? Uh, well, one thing we set out with the Oysterman to do was to make it a place where both locals and visitors felt welcome and could enjoy Duxbury oysters. So people can come in, they can sit down, they can have a great drink, they can have a fabulous meal and meet people from all over the world, literally. It's literally, that's exactly what it is. Well, Dermot, thank you so much for having us here today. With the Oysterman, I'm Donna Rodriguez for PCN Local Eats.